I'm Doug. And I'm Kathy. Join us as we follow the moon. Today, we want to take you along with us on three different places that we went while we were at Port Orange, Florida, which is just south of Daytona Beach. These are our great places to go, and uh, we hope you enjoy. Today we're walking around Dunlawton Sugar Mill Garden. Gardens and uh, it's the ruins of the plantation sugar mill and some of the most beautiful gardens. It's free admission and Maggie's enjoying it too. Yeah. She just starts up just like she does at home. <laughs> Now the mill started originally in 1804 and uh, it was known as the Dean Plantation. See, just like she does at home. Now the plantation and sugar mill was sold in 1830 to Sarah Petty Anderson Dunn and she bought the the plantation through a fictitious corporation using her maiden name of Dunn and the prior owners names Charles and Joseph Lawton and that's where the name Dunn Lawton came from which is so prevalent in this area of South Daytona and Port Orange. The mill was burnt in the late 1830s, was rebuilt and then was Built, uh, burnt again in the Seminole Indian Wars in 1856. Now if you'd like to know the inner workings of how the furnace and all the kettles work, we'll leave a link up here to a couple of our other videos we've done on some of the sugar mill ruins around Florida. One of the things that's different about this one is that roof they, over the top to preserve it. Yeah, they built a, a big structure. In fact, you can see the metal structure here that was built around it, and that was done to preserve this site. So uh, while you lose kind of the, the feeling of it being out in the open like you do in a couple of the other sugar mill ruins, it's there to preserve it, and it'll stay in this condition for a long time. In 1939, this was opened as a tourist site, but it was mistakenly billed as ruins of a 1600 Spanish mission, which it wasn't. And if you see in the middle of your screen something that looks out of place, we'll tell you more about that after you enjoy the gardens.
Now in the 1940s and 50s, the owner, um, J. Saxon Lloyd, created an amusement park he called Bongo Land. And he commissioned Dr. Manny Lawrence to build those stone dinosaurs. And uh, it also featured an Indian village, animals, and a train to ride around on the paths. And the name Bongo came from the baboon that, um, that resided there. Now, Bongo Land closed after the 50s, but in 1985, Volusia County leased this and helped create the botanical gardens that are there today. Now, next it was off to lunch. And this was actually just around the corner on Nova Road from the uh, Botanical Gardens called Giuseppe's Steel City Pizza. Now this was inside the dining room. We were there kind of middle of the day, kind of an off time is why it's not busy, but man this place gets packed. Can't find a parking place around it during the busy times. So we decided to order a Sicilian pizza and they have several types of crust but the Sicilian's what we got and wow Now that's a Sicilian. <laughs> I think we're gonna live on wow. this for the next two weeks. Oh my God, it's so good. It's so, so good. Oh, it looks amazing. Wow. That's great, okay. All Thank right. you. Hey, you Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Sorry about the You know we're gonna need a box, but I'll, we'll get that I'll be later. I'll check on you all. Sure. All right. Okay. It's like Thank around you. midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Now the ovens are wood fired. That Sicilian is so big and thick, it takes about 40 to 45 minutes. You have to be a little patient for it. But boy, is it worth the wait. It sure was. Uh, in fact, it was so good that we came back and got another one before we left town to uh, have on our travel day. Definitely highly recommend. Absolutely. Next, we're off to Ponce Preserve. This is down towards the Ponce Inlet Lighthouse. You may have seen our video on earlier. And uh, this again is a free preserve. Uh, there's entrance from the main road. There's also a parallel road that there's an entrance to kind of from the backside. So if parking's full one spot, you can get in the other. And there's actually more parking on the backside than there was in the along the main road. Now it does have a playground that was closed at the time we were there, uh, but the walking trails were all open and this park is kind of known for two main attractions. There are a lot of rare plants to the area. I think they said there was some type of a coffee, coffee plant. Yeah. But right down here in front of us is a 350 year old live oak that is actually a historical tree. That was amazing. And this is directly across from the beach. So you think of the storms that this thing has weathered over the years. Probably why it's bent over like that. Yeah. When you climb underneath that, or crawl, I should yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. You'll go up the path to what's called the Green Mound. And I apologize for the, the shaky footage, but it's a 30-foot incline in a very short space. Flip-flops are not the best thing to wear. Uh, but it is a shell mound. It's one of the largest shell mounds in existence. Uh, it was built between 800 and 1600. Um, and it was at one point up to 50 foot tall, but it's lost a little of its height to erosion. And in 1922, part of it was used to build a road. 
they did not realize the significance of where they were pulling those shells. Now the way down was a bit easier and especially for Maggie. Yeah. She says, Mama, if you just get out of the way, I got this. It's a lot steeper than it looks. Yeah, it really is. As you can tell, I speed up as I go down. And Kathy just made it underneath the tree. It was a little hard for Kathy. It was more difficult for me fitting underneath it. But uh, somehow Maggie had no problem with it. <laughs> and yes, this is dog friendly area. So we hope you liked what you saw. We had a great place to eat in there and we had two amazing free attractions. And I do have to emphasize free. You can't get any better than that. That's right. That's right. And uh, we've got more coming for you on the area. This was all Port Orange area and south. We've got another one coming that's going to be more Daytona Beach and North. That'll be coming up in the next couple of episodes that you see. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, we wanted to thank you all for watching us. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so. And if you liked what you saw today, be sure and give us a thumbs up. We really do appreciate that. And thank you for following us as we follow the moon. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you've enjoyed it. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel and be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when we have new videos listed. Also, be sure to check out our blog at followthemoon.us and also our Facebook page at followthemoon and on Instagram at followthemoontravel. Thanks. <laughs>